Welcome back guys, this is The Thinking Gamer. I'm going to be making a quick uh, video here. This video is intended for uh, beginning level players and it's going to focus mainly on uh, control groups and how effective and useful they can be. As you can see, uh, this is a game just against the computer. I've already basically eliminated them uh, just so I can uh, demonstrate uh, the different uh, keys that you can use uh, for control groups and I have not set up any control groups yet so I'm going to show you one of the things I like to do as uh, as Terran players I like to set all of my command centers to uh, the control group 4 and to do that I'm going to hit control I'm going to highlight one of my command centers and hit control and then 4 and as you can see right down here it automatically uh, places it into a control group and then if I want to add another unit to it this is called appending a uh, a uh, control group. I just select another thing that I want to add to that control group and hit shift and then the number and it completely it just it automatically adds that to group four. I can come down to all of my um, command centers and I can add them all to uh, four. So when I press four you can see all of my command groups are in here. This is useful especially for Terran and Zerg as um, and especially even even uh, it's useful for uh, Protoss because they can uh, use their uh, chrono boosts uh, quite effectively uh, this way. But the, the Terrans can also use a lot of scanner sweeps uh, if you save them up or you can uh, quickly get out a ton, I mean a ton of mules just by quickly hot grouping them into the same group and then just using the hot key to call them in. Look at that. That is crazy. And also another useful aspect of this is if you get attacked or you need to build a bunch of SCVs someplace, you can just right click on a mineral and any SCVs you make will queue up between all three of them and they'll automatically go and mine whatever base you need to um, replace SCVs in or uh, place new SCVs into. The other thing I like to do is I like to place all of my military buildings on one hotkey. Some people like to place barracks on one, factories on another, starport on yet another. But me, I prefer to use the subunits. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. I can go ahead and hit control 5 and add my first barracks to the control group here. Another thing you can do is you can hit control and select all of them at the same time and then hit 5. And now I have four barracks on hotkey 5. I can also come up here and highlight my um, starports, hit shift five, or shift five, and I will have two starports on there. And now you can see I have four barracks, two starports, come down here and I can add my factories as well for a total of eight buildings. Now what's useful about this is you can, you can also hotkey all of your buildings to one location. So any units that build, all the units from all those buildings will just automatically go there. And uh, this is very useful if you um, are out attacking an enemy unit and you need to re be, re be replacing your units. For instance, let's say I was coming down here to attack with my, my units here, and I'm in the middle of a fight, but I get a break. I can hit 5, and I can start quickly pumping out Marauders. Then I can hit Tab to go to the next unit, pump out some Thors, and then a couple Medivacs, all while never having to even go back to my base. They're already just, just queuing up and you can go and finish whatever attack that you're going to do and these units are automatically going to build so the the key to putting all your units on one building is realizing that you can tab between the various structures if you look over here quite simply and build any unit in the game without even looking at your base the other thing I like to do is I like to place all my upgrade structures on six I'll place my engineering bay I'll place my armory ghost academy Basically anything that has upgrades, I'm going to go ahead and add that. That includes any kind of tech labs attached to your various buildings. Once you have all the upgrades, then you can do the same thing. You can push six and all your upgrades are there. You can pick an upgrade and then you can uh, tab through the various upgrades and kind of pick whatever you want all while you're out. So this, this is a great way to spend your resources while you're microing your units. Uh, without having to come back to your base and do it. You can just tab through it, hit 5, tab, build some more units, okay, upgrade a little bit, and there you go. You can also call in some more mules or whatever you need to do because you have everything hotkeyed. This is what I like to do for 4, 5, and 6. Now, usually what I like to do is I will, um, I will reserve 1, 2, and 3 for my units. Usually I like to place my entire army on 1, and then you can take individual units 
that are important, like your medevacs, and place them on two. And then I like to place any kind of casting unit, which I don't have any here, on three. These are units like Templars, things that, that cast that can really change the battle, so that way you can quickly pick them and cast a spell. But you can also do the same thing here. If you notice, uh, immediately my Terrans are, are uh, selected, but if I hit Tab... I can cycle through all my different units that have different abilities. So even though I have them all grouped into one group, I can quickly find the ability I need. But sometimes I find it's better to have multiple groups for your uh, hot group. Now you don't have to completely regroup uh, every time you get new units. F say for instance, I've got 37 units in this group, and let's go ahead and I'll build some more Marauders over here. And uh, I'll go ahead and cycle through and I'll build a couple Siege Tanks and some Vikings. All right, we'll let those build. Now, what happens if I want to quickly add those to this control group here? As they come in, what I can do is here, they should be spawning here in a second. So I can select them, hit Shift 1, and they automatically get added. Now, those four Marauders are part of group 4. Any other units that build as they build, I can quickly group them back into the group by hitting shift and appending them to the unit like so then I'll have to hit one send them all down here and you'll see the groups that I that I just appended all just decide to come down here it's actually a lot easier than you think once you kinda get the the hang of of control groups I think you're gonna see your game improving a lot you're going to ha not have a whole bunch of resources pulled. I do have a lot in this in this demonstration just for demonstrating purposes. But uh, I, hopefully this is uh, useful to you guys. And uh, I hope you uh, subscribe. I'm going to be making some more videos specifically tailored for beginning players and trying to improve your game. Uh, I am by no means an expert StarCraft player. But uh, I do like sharing what I've learned because I find it useful in my game. And if I find it useful in my game, chances are you're going to find it useful in your game. All right, well, this is The Thinking Gamer. Uh, until next time, you guys take care.